I am Damini, a cloud support engineer here at AWS office in Australia. So today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot an Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service fraud that's stuck in creation state with an error, failed to create a pod sandbox. So let's get started. The fail to create pod sandbox error occur when there is a networking issue or incorrect system resource limit configuration. If you get this error and your pods are in container creating state, then inspect the pod status. For that, open a terminal or the command prompt. Make sure that you have a Kubernetes command line tool installed and configured to connect to a Kubernetes cluster. Get the name of the pod that you want to inspect. You can list all the pod in the current namespace using the command. This will list down all the pods as well as their status. And as you can see, there is a container creating status for first one. Note, this will show you the list of pods with their name, status, and other information. Replace the pod name in the command kubeto describe and pod name with an actual name of the pod you want to inspect. Copy paste the pod name. This information can help you to identify and troubleshoot that prevents the pod from successful creating the containers. As you can see the error here, this error indicates that the AWS node pod failed to communicate with IPAM because the AWS node pod failed to run on the node. To troubleshoot this issue, make sure that you are running the correct version of VPC CNI plugin for the cluster version. Please restart the node pod to ramp up the moin point. First of all, go to Elastic Kubernetes Service. This is the cluster name that we are looking at. Go on add-ons. And this error simply means that it is not able to communicate with AWS node. So if we scroll down, we will see that there is no VPC CNI. So click on get more add-ons. We have an Amazon VPC CNI. Click on the checkbox. Scroll down and click on next. Again, click on next. Review and create it. This will create an Amazon VPC CNI. It will take two to three minutes to create it. Now you can say that the status has changed to active. And this error also appears if you are using VPC CNI older version. So you can also see an option to upgrade now. So you can also upgrade it from here. We can also get this error during a network plugin CNI fail to set up a network prod. So let's just get to a terminal and see how it fails. And let's just create a demo for application pod. List the pod that are newly created. We can see that both the pods are in running state. Let's just scale up the pod and see if, if everything is working fine. Pods are scaled. Let's see the status of the pod. We can see that two of the status are failed with container creating. Let's describe the pod and see why it is stuck in container creating. We can see that error that it has failed to assign an IP address to the container. So this error response means that the container network interface can't assign an IP address to the newly created pod. An instance that is used to maximize allowed elastic network interface in the IP address can cause this error response. You can also receive this error response when the Amazon VPC subnet has an IP address count of zero. To resolve this issue, we should use the following. In my case, I have few pods running which are not required and I'm going to scale down them to free the IP address. Let's see the status of the application. Now we can see that all the pods are in running state. Now let's just check the status of the pod. It will take few seconds. And now you can see that it is in running state. 
and the second option that we have is if you have more available IPs in your subnet, you can try to scale up the node count. So for that, let's just go to the AWS console, go to the cluster, compute, and go to the node groups. From the node groups, click on edit, and edit the node scaling as per your desired size. And then just save the changes. This will also help you to resolve this issue. You can also see this container creation error related to the security group. And the error will state like plugin type AWS CNI, name AWS CNI, failed, add command, failed to assign an IP address to the container, VPC resource container failed to allocate the branch ENI to pod, creating network interface, no credential provider, no valid providers in chain deprecated. So this error is related to a health Kubernete control plane. To resolve this issue, contact AWS support. So now you know how to troubleshoot an Amazon EKS pod that's stuck in a container creation state with an error failed to create a pod sandbox. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.